So apparently my other input video didn't turn out so well because of voice and the screen, um, but I'm going to try and film one here. So when you do your input button and your box, or your input and your button, you have to decide what is it that I want an input button to do. Um, so if you look at that coding slideshow, which I have to open again, um, you have to ask yourself, what is it that I want somebody to enter into my website? That's kind of what your input box has to be there to collect. So if I go to the input slide right here, um, I can see there's an example. Maybe I want to collect an email from somebody or maybe I want to collect a date or an item. So there's a lot of different choices that you can make for the input type. I can collect date, one of my favorites. Email makes a box. Search if you want them to search your website for something. Um, if you need a time or them to enter an email address, text is a good basic one because you can just have them enter text into the box. Um, if you have them asking a question, a checkbox. Um, so you pick the type of input you want. And then we talked about needing a placeholder too. What is it that that box is going to say? So remember, Anna's lab had them enter her, your email and their placeholder said your email. Um, so you first have to choose that. So let's say... I have my input, I have a date, and um, I can't put that because the placeholder is going to be month, date, year. So my placeholder won't work. I would have to put um, a H3 or H4, H4, let's go with that. What was the date of your favorite episode? Okay, and then an H3 or H4, closing tag. Okay, and then my placeholder is again, instead of that, it's going to be that just month, month, date, year is what it's going to show. Okay, I'm going to run it. And now when I go down to that button, I can see that there's the question. And there's their box. Now, I probably need a button to say submit here so I can code a button. Button, submit, enter, whatever I want the button to say goes on the button tag. I'm gonna hit run. And down here, there's a giant submit button. Now, I would tuck, make that smaller, um, but that's just how it's set up in this website. Um, I can also code an input box to say something different. Type equals, uh, and these are some options. You can do email, date, color, uh, range, password, text. I'm going to choose text this time. And then placeholder. This time I can do the question here. What's your favorite? Episode. episode number. Okay, run it. Now when I scroll down here, what's your favorite episode? And I'd have to make it bigger to see the rest of it. And I can have a button there too. So it's all depending what you want somebody to enter into your website. Think about what you're asking them. Same thing when I'm coding the buttons. Maybe I want them to like my paragraph. Maybe I want to ask a question and have a button that says yes or no or like or dislike. Maybe I'm taking a poll. Um, so your buttons can say what you need them to say. Remember to read the rubric for how many buttons and input boxes you need. Um, but that's a